Hi guys. In my last video, I showed you how to actually extract your pattern pieces, how you can label them, how you can remove the seam allowance, especially on pattern pieces that you're going to be cutting on fold, how to extend your grain lines and adjust it the way you want it, and of course, how to put notes on your patterns so that you're able to know which part goes to which part after you've downloaded it and you want to put the patterns together. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download these patterns in PDF format from Simbi 2D. If that is what interests you, then stay tuned and let's get started. Hi, my name is Enorita James and welcome to my channel. In my channel, I take you by the hand and I show you how to transition from manual pattern drafting to digital pattern drafting. This is episode 10 in my Simly 2D Basics tutorial where I teach you how to use Simly 2D. If you're new to Simly 2D, Simly 2D is a free CAD pattern drafting software. It's completely free. That is why it is called an open source pattern drafting software. As I said, this is my episode 10. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to print out your already created patterns. If you're just landing on this episode 10, I will advise you to go and watch from episode one. If you look below this video, you will find the playlist for my Simly 2D basics, where I take you through how to download, how to understand the tools, how to create all these patterns that you're seeing right here. Once you finish creating your patterns, you need to download them and you need to download them in PDF format. Now we are in the piece section, piece, P-I-E-C-E -E, section of Simly 2D, where we did all this. We were able to remove seam allowances from patterns that we are going to be um, cutting on fold. We were able to label our pattern pieces, as you can see here. We're able to label it, we're able to extend our grain lines, and we're able to put our notches so that when you're joining this, you know that it's supposed to be to the front. So now you are done with that. That is what I showed you how to do in the last episode nine. Once you're done with all that, first we need to remove all these plotting numbers. We cannot print your patterns with all these numbers and to do that you just come here where you have this big eye and you click on it and all the numbers go off it's as simple as that and then we now go up here we now go to layout click on layout and then this box comes out and here you go to these templates click on it and go to a0 I have tried every other one. If you do not put it at A0 with Simply 2D, it will not print anything. So I have tried all, and this is what works. So put it there at A0. And then here, we leave every other thing as it is. I think there's nothing else to touch here. Um, auto crop on use length. I think I'll put that on so that papers will not be wasted. So I think that is okay. So let's click okay. So it has given us our pattern. This is our layout. So now, I wish there's a way to make this to lie this way, but I tried, if you know how to do it, if you're using Simply 2D, how you know how to do it, how to adjust it, please let me know so that, you know, 
I can also do it and save paper. So once you're done with that, you now come here. No, this is the layout, sorry. We are done with layouts. We now come to export. So you click on export. And then you come to this place. Please be very careful. Do not choose PDF files. If you choose PDF file, it will print just one sheet as it is so for you. I've tried it. That is what it gave me. So don't choose PDF files. Go to PDF tiled files. I repeat, this is the one you need to click. But before we go there, I want to let you see that you can also, you can also download your patterns at, as SVG. SVG files of patterns are patterns types that you can upload onto other pattern drafting softwares, especially pattern simulation softwares. There you can adjust these patterns to create whatever style you want. So in Simli 2D, you have that ability to do so. So either SVG files or BMP files, those types of files, you can use them in other uh, softwares, you know. For instance, on, on my on my YouTube channel, I talked about Audacity's Fashion Studio. You can use such a pattern there, and then change it to whatever you want. You know, there are a lot of pattern drafting softwares that are paid and are easy to maneuver. You know, unlike Simli 2D, that is completely free, but it's not that easy to maneuver, especially when you want to start creating different styles from your basic block. So having said that, so we are using PDF tiled files. So here, I would advise you just leave it like that because these are the margins on your paper, one centimeter each. The template is A4. And now this orientation is what I want you to pay attention to. You can either make it um, portrait or landscape. What I normally do, I try the two to see the one that gives me less paper. And I'm going to show you now. So let's try portrait and let's click on save. Yes. So now we've clicked on save. We will now go to my desktop. Let's go to my desktop and let's look for it. That's, there it is. So if you click it and open it, you can see that you have 25 papers. Look at it here. You have 25 sheets of A4. This is what your pattern looks like now. This is your pattern that you're going to put together. And if you're new to putting together PDF um, patterns, it's quite easy. If you look at the bottom, you see things like one of two. If you keep scrolling down, the next one will tell you one of three. The next one will tell you four, one of four. The next one, one of five. The next one, two. So that means that the first five sheets, you're going to lay them on the same line. The first five sheets go together. That is grid one, but five sheets. So that's how you do it. Come to the next grid. So that is grid two. You see? So it's it's quite easy once you just download it and begin to put them together. So this is what your PDF looks like. And this is the kind of PDF you can either sell or you can send to your customers that contracted you to do your patterns. You know? Now, as I said, these 25 A4 sheets created this pattern. So now let's go back. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to delete it. Then we are going to try another one. Let's go back there. And I'm going to extract it again. And this time around, I'm going to do a landscape. So let's see how much paper is going to use. So I'm going to save it again. Yes. And then let's go back to my desktop. There it is. Open it. 
you see it is landscape the, the, the wordings are on this side see it here and you can see it's taking 28 sheets the other one was 25 sheets so that means it's better to do it portrait because at least you save three sheets of paper it's not much but at least you save paper so that's the point that's what i wanted to that's what i always do i always try it first to see which one uses less paper because you'll be amazed sometimes you can save as much as 10 sheets of a4 paper you know and that reduces your work when you're putting this together so that's essentially it okay Let's go back to our simile 2D. So that is essentially how you set your layout for your uh, simile 2D and how you print your PDF patterns of your simile 2D. I think with this, I've come to the end of this episode 10 of simile 2D basics tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the video to this point. If you are enjoying the content, please consider subscribing to my channel, liking the video, and hitting the notification bell to stay updated with my latest uploads. Your support helps me to continue creating valuable content. I appreciate your engagement and look forward to seeing you in my future videos.